Hey beautiful, how you doing today? Welcome back or welcome if this is your first time. Hi, I'm Lucky. Sorry about this voice. I know that I didn't completely catfish your motherfucking ass because I look a lot more masculine than I sound. I've been told it a million times, so I definitely know. Forget the freaking voice. It's just what I was born with. Anyway, in case you are new, I'm Lucky and I talk about prison all the freaking time. Specifically, what it was like to be a gay person in prison because I was what is known as a queen in prison. As a matter of fact, them guys, they couldn't even fathom me looking the way that I'm looking right now. With a cap on, chilled out as all get out, with a jersey. Like, they, the only person in prison that ever got to see this side, this masculine <laughs> side of my personality was Cam. And that's because over time, as I got closer and closer to him, you know, I, I mean, when you're, when you're in a, when you're in a cell with somebody and y'all are spending 24 hours a day, you can only hold up that, that facade, but so long, at least me, I mean, maybe if I was a natural born car artist, perhaps. But anyway, for anybody that doesn't know, Cam was the guy that I fell in love with while I was in prison. He officially became like my prison husband and we were together for a year and a half up until I got released. But the point of this video is the fact men are insanely possessive over queens. I have made a video like this before, but I was reading from my prison diary my journal entries that I used to write while I was in prison. I have links to it below if you want to check it out or if you just want to even support the LGBT community. I got some cool stuff down there too. But anyway, this video I just want to talk specifically about three points to give a full example of how guys in prison are so insanely possessive over the gays over the queens forget about the transgender honey them guys is it might as well be women like for real put whatever it is that you would think a woman would deal with if they were in prison oh my gosh around all these men that is what transgender deal with and they take advantage of it and most gay people do too I just didn't. I just didn't. I just, it was just not for me. But number one is that you can't talk to anybody. As soon as you are talking to a guy, I mean, this happens like lightning speed. As soon as you're in conversation with a guy and y'all appear, because, you know, in prison, everybody's so guarded. Like, nobody is really opening up to anybody you know, you know who you're around, you know what it is. So it's like everybody stays locked away all the time. It almost starts to develop into like a shell. Like everybody has like their outer shell. And that's what is being presented all day long. Like while you're in this chow, on rec, whatever. In a conversation, in the pod, playing cards. Everybody has their shell. Like that's just what you see. And on the inside is whoever it is that they are. So... That goes for queens as well. When a guy starts to talk to a queen, queens got their tricks, they got their games. Me, I started to not speak to anybody, so it's like people would talk to my shell. My shell was very isolated. It was very, you know, private, quiet, whatever. I'm not the only queen that's like that. There are other queens like that. But if you do start to get past the shells and you actually make a little bit of a connection, like you actually... You know, you have like a spark, you have a chemistry. It don't even have to have really be a spark for real. You just have some chemistry, like where you open up, the person feels like they can open up. In that same conversation, the possessiveness starts instantly because it's something that they don't have. They don't have that. So now that they even have a, a glimmer of it, they're gonna they're gonna claim it. They're gonna claim it. So then immediately your next conversation they might just ask a casual conversation a casual question like 
how was your day? You're just like, oh, you know, it was fine. I went to chow this morning. I mean, I went to chow this morning, and then after chow, I did go to rec, and I bumped into so-and-so, and, -so and well, a queen, for example. I bumped into ex-queen, and she was talking to whoever had came over and started chatting with us and stuff like that. They'll cut you off right there and be like, I don't like that you talk with you know, both people, really, they'll have a reason for both people, but they're like, I don't like that you, you know, talk to this dude because he always on some slick stuff, and, you know, I just don't really trust him, he, he just not good people, and frankly, you shouldn't even be around this queen because if they are associating with that dude, then it's like, you know, do you really want to be caught up in that stuff? You just shouldn't, you sh really shouldn't be talking to these people, but that's what they will say for anybody that you talk to you can't talk to nobody that's number one possessiveness number two is <laughs> excuse me that they are smothering as all get out my bad they are smothering as all get out 24 7 from your first conversation that you will have it's just like a spark or chemistry as I said the second conversation now starts in on just kind of like criticism it appears as criticism or or really actually to put it positively it appears as like caution concern concern that's what it appears as concern but really actually it's it's control <laughs> which is going to be number three but it uh, that's actually what it is but they try to like frame it as if it's like you know some concern like oh don't talk to this person you know blah 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 but they're already trying to like cut off you know like just just get you a certain kind of way and then the second thing with smothering now they start popping up all over the freaking place anytime you're in chow they just happened to be there because they was waiting on your freaking behind. They was just waiting there after every building came and went and everything. Or it just happens that when you got there is when they got there. They didn't rush because they knew that your building didn't win or whatever. But usually it's like when you get there, they're already there. Then they already know your schedule so they start showing up at the same rec time as when you have rec perhaps even on the same rec yard. They'll go into your class. I had a guy, for those of y'all that know, my prison sugar daddy boss, I joined horticulture class. The next day he was in that class. <laughs> like, and there was a lot of people that actually did that, but I just didn't know that they had did that. Naive me, I'm thinking like I joined a class and I'm not paying attention who's joining, but, you know, people join, people, people join. Later, I would hear, you know, I would get a chance to talk to them or they, they, you know, whenever it is that we would speak, now they're, if they're shooting a shot at me, now they're taking that opportunity to tell me. It's like, yeah, when I found out you were in this class, I had joined immediately. It's like, I'm like, oh my God. I would have never thought that, but it's present. It's like, what are people doing with their time? I was trying to be productive. A lot of, most people who are locked up, they are not trying to be productive, to just be honest with you. Like, they are just doing time. Like, they're just doing time. So if you're in the, in the business of chasing queens, then you're going to stalk the queen, because what else do you got to do with your day? Like, what else do you have to do with your day? And this is way more guys than you would think. How many guys like pussycats? How many guys, you know, go out of their way for girls? If there's no girls in this world that we're in, then who do you think that is replacing that? Yours truly, with the sideways cap and all. It's like, I didn't have no cap. But anyway... So smothering. They start showing up everywhere, anywhere, so you can't escape them. They just somehow seem, I don't, I still to this day don't know how a lot of guys, Boss wasn't the only one who was like that. He was just the best one at it, but he certainly was not the only one. There was plenty of people that I noticed when forming a connection, or sometimes more scarier, even without forming a connection, like just having a conversation. It's like they'll start popping up at the same places that I'm at, at the same times. 
and I think in hindsight, it was in hopes that there would be another conversation. Because then it's like, you know, of course they'll say hi, you know, this and that or whatever. Um, maybe sitting near you or something. And it's like, if you strike up a conversation, you strike up a conversation. But if you don't, which it's prison, why would I want, why would any queen want to just talk to anybody? Just like any normal person that's locked up. But it's like they start popping up at the same place. So it's smothering. And then the last thing of how insanely possessive them freaks, <laughs> freaks are, is controlling. Because I, this is more so, well, it's both actually, which is where it's more dangerous. But typically, after they have you in, your, in their hooks, they start to get more controlling in terms of what you're allowed to do, who you're allowed to speak to, what you can wear, the whole works, you know, just period. Like, how you conduct yourself, all of that stuff. They just start to be more controlling, but it's kind of embraced, I think, when you in accept somebody, like when you're actually allowing yourself to connect to that person. This is just prison culture for queens, but w where it's dangerous and truly scary is when there is no connection, like there is no relationship or anything like that y'all have had a couple of conversations that's it and then within your next few conversations the person already starts demanding this and that and dictating this and that and it's like where do you get off feeling like you can do that like you know but this is how they act this is how they act and it comes from it's actually kind of sad the more that i have made videos like this and i talk about this the more that I'm able to truly see it, it's actually really sad because it comes from a place of desperation. They have gone so long without company, without companionship, without intimacy, without just people giving a care about them, a conversation. Like they've just gone so much time that they're deprived and they miss it and they don't have it. And then when they get it, even from somebody who's loose as all get out and they got five, ten different people that they spend in their time with, occupying their time with, it's like they still will just cling to it. And that's where the possessiveness comes from and the you can't talk to anybody, smothering them 24 hours a day and controlling, where it's like, you know, yeah, of course they're going to make sure that they're everywhere you are and stuff like that because... It's been five years since I've had a conversation like this that somebody actually gave a care about what it is that I'm saying. Yeah, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there at Chow when this person is there. I'm going to be there at Rec when this person is there. I'm going to join that class because what else I got going on? Sit another day playing poker with these people that they're just trying to take my money, you know? continue doing my wheeling and dealing or whatever where people they try to get over on me people stiff me and go into to segregation or something like that uh even for the people that have females on the outside continue trying to call when she ain't answering the phone she yelling at me or something like that that's why i made my video i made a video giving like three pieces of advice about how what to do when you're in love with somebody who's on the inside and my main point that I was saying is like you have to be as stable as you can because whether you choose to see it or not or accept it or not your stability amounts to more than their stability they are going to feed off of you they are going to to get get like pull strength from you seriously seriously so otherwise that's where queens like me we be dealing with all the bull while we in there all the pos possessiveness in the world so those are my three things if you want to see more of me you can hit me up on patreon you can join the memberships we got a nice little community going on and to all the members thank you so much i really appreciate you guys like you know i just appreciate you guys so Thank you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.